Hello, today we're going to be reviewing a GPS tracker for a quadcopter. Now if you've come to see this video, you're no doubt looking for one which is cheap and light. And, and from what I've seen on the internet so far, most of them are expensive, have contracts, or are basically expensive. Um, now, I found this little tiny thing. Um, only weighs 25 grams and it lasts for days and days and it's extremely light and cheap. It's only 25 quid. So I just want to quickly show you how it works and how to stick on your quadcopter and if it actually does a job. Now, I thought I'd just start off by weighing it for you so you can actually see, obviously on my gold weighing scales, which I use purely for that. Um, <laughs> anyway, let me put the back on there. It's 25 grams, so get out the back on the case. You could probably strip the casing off this and probably get it down to about 15. Um, and if you could take the battery off and so on, mod your, um, your quadcopter to actually use that, you know, even lighter again. You know, it weighs hardly anything. Inside, you've got a standard size SIM, um, which is I've just put a pay as you go contract. Um, this is a UK, so it's just an O2 SIM. It cost me 10 quid. Um, lasts for six months as long as I make a call so you know um, I only need to use it for text messages just to get the uh, GPS coordinates off it which come up on uh, Google Maps which is always handy um, it's really simple well I say really simple to set up originally when it came in this box um, it was in on, had a big strap on it oh, let me turn that off don't need that um, yeah, so I cut the strap off, don't need that. Um, the Chinese instructions are bloody awful, um, and it's taken me probably a whole day to figure out how to configure this thing. Um, let me just show you when it's turned on. So when it boots up, it says welcome. It's basically a watch. Um, shows you the time, there's a little signal icon there to show if it's got a GPS uh, sat uh, locked or not, um, a battery indicator and there's a little um, smaller indicator for the signal on the GPRS, well the mobile phone signal. Um, you can't configure this at all by any of the buttons on it, it has to all be done by SMS text messages so what you would do, you get another phone and you basically pair the phone to this so what you would do is when you first log on to it, um, you have to tell the watch uh, which phone is going to be basically tracking it so that I suppose it's a safety aspect so people can't um, tap into it or whatever but basically you um, set up a that code there, I don't know if you can see that but it's 123456 is the default password for this watch um, and you tell it which phone number is going to be tracking it and of course in Chinese it tells you Brilliant, that's fine. Now I had to translate, translate that in Google Map, uh, Google, Google Translator to start with to see what the hell I was bloody doing. Um, but anyway, later on then I found out you could turn it into English, which so it does it actually get easier. Um, so if I scroll down now, I, yeah, look, I, I changed the language. It's in English, so that's great. Um, and this is the most important bit. So basically once this is outside, I put it out there for probably five minutes if that um, and then I typed in w comma url hash and then it sent a text message back with the GPS coordinates which I punched into my computer um, there's a link on it as well so you, you can just follow it straight there and I clicked on it and I would say it was probably accurate within a couple of meters I I literally put it outside there, and then you can see, look, it's, it's literally bang on. So really happy with that. Um, I bought it off eBay, twenty five ninety nine. Came from China. Took me, I think it took about seven days to arrive. Um, I'm really happy with it. I'm actually surprised it works because um, it took me so long today to get it configured. I thought, ah, it was a bit of a waste of money, but um, I'm shocked it actually works, and it seems pretty good. So. 
this is going to get bolted to my quadcopter. So hopefully, I'll never lose it again. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm, I'll put all the I'll put all the uh, commands and everything on the video because there are quite a few, and the manual is absolutely useless, but um, well worth it, especially for the money and the price and and how much it weighs compared to some other things that are on the market. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Speak to you soon.